Welcome to In Focus, I'm your host Yesenia Tavares. The Delaware College of Art and Design has been developing artists and designers right here in downtown Wilmington for more than 20 years. Joining us now is the college president, President Jean Dahlgren. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks Thank you for, for joining us. us. Yeah. Yes. As you can all tell, you know, we're into the creative uh, industry as well here <laughs> at the television station. Absolutely. So Delaware College of Art and Design really hits home for us. So let's talk a little bit about the college and congratulations on your new position. Thank you. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm new to the college. I'm new to Delaware. I'm new to Wilmington and I'm just thrilled to be here. So. And from New York. <laughs> I'm from New York. From a lot of New York. New York uh, from all Albany, the capital most recently so coming to Wilmington has been a great experience and being part of the college is terrific I'm so excited wonderful yeah. and DCAT is right in the center of downtown Wilmington it so it's is. still got the city feel uh, tell us a little bit about it sure so the, the campus is located at 600 North Market Street so we're really in the center of the creative district uh, which is um, amazing. So when I talk to parents and uh, students or pers prospective parents and students, I tell them about what Wilmington has to offer and why study art here. And Wilmington, of course, has such a rich history in the history of art and design. Yes. It's a perfect place to come still and study art and design. And so what kind of programs does the college have for those who are seeking a two-year degree? Because it is one of its own kind with a two-year degree. It is. It is one of a kind, and that's what excited me about coming to DCAD. It really is a very unique school. Um, so we have, we're a two-year professional art and design school. And so what that means is that students along the way to a bachelor's degree get an associate in fine art degree. Okay. So they start at DCAD, they, um, the majors that we have that you asked are animation, illustration, graphic design, fine arts, and photography. But many of our students, after they get there, they can. Uh, the, one of the beauties of our programs is they may start in one major, they may go to another one, um, and then as they begin their, uh, their studies in the foundation areas, which is what that's called, the first two years, uh, then they begin to think about what's next and they might stay in those majors or they might do another one at the school that they transfer to. And one thing I do like about DCAT is that their credits are transferable to a bigger university. Absolutely. One of the top fours. Let's talk about that. Absolutely. So we have many in higher ed, those are called articulation agreements, fancy word just for partnerships. Mm -hmm. So we have partnerships with all the top art and design schools, including Pratt, MICA, Moore College of Art and Design. In fact, uh, with Moore, for example, we're doing a dual, a brand new dual enrollment program. We're going to be signing that next week in Philadelphia okay. so that when students start at DCAD, they're also joint Moore College of Art and Design students and then they transfer seamlessly to Moore. Okay. So um, it, that's a great program for us, the dual enrollments just make it easy. But um, the students transfer to all kinds of schools, as I mentioned, University of the Arts in Philadelphia is another one where many of our students and have student, attended. And that's yeah. wonderful. I was going to say, as soon as they get into the program, it's really hands-on from there. It's hands-on. So they have four semesters to really uh, put the pedal to the metal, so to speak, and they do. And our faculty are terrific. We have a very dedicated faculty. Um, and, and their job is really in those four semesters to bring them up to the level where they can transfer seamlessly as juniors okay. and that's great. And uh, WSFIS, or as many of us know, WSFS Bank yes, here, right. has provided a grant for DCAP for collaboration between the college and Cap Calloway. Yes, yes, that's a, a tremendous uh, gift to us. WSFIS uh, provided a grant for the instruction and so uh, that dual enrollment program is happening at Cab Calloway High School. So uh, our uh, professor, who is Aki Tori, tremendous professor, she is teaching at the Cab Calloway facility, but teaching a college class. So the students, as part of a dual enrollment program, really benefit from getting college credit while they're finishing their high school degree. So would that get them the opportunity to start their, their credits for the degree right away? Absolutely. So they could take those uh, 
those credits and transfer right to DCAD, or they could take the credits and go to another school if they wished. And, and those are highly transferable to other schools. Wow, and in essence, it's really helping that high schooler cut back on some financial costs since it, they're already getting the credits while they're in high school. It does, it does, and that's a definite benefit. But additionally, it's also giving them that college readiness and preparedness yes. that we feel so strongly about. Because at DCAD, that's what we're doing as well. So we're really helping students in a very small, kind of nurturing environment environment, um, get their, you know, get their foundations and really, um, you know, it, in, a, in a more intimate environment, prepare for the rigors mm -hmm. of okay. a professional art and design career. And it's happening all here in Wilmington with Wilmington mm -hmm. high schoolers. And like you said, developing that state of mind is very important at such an early age. And here they are really seeing the opportunity that, yes, they can master this creative art career, design career at a high school level. Absolutely, and another thing that we offer is a pre-college program, which is another opportunity for students from all over, from, in, from inner city Wilmington to the suburbs to come in, and that's an, an overnight experience during the summer. We have it for two weeks uh, coming up this summer in July, and so the students come in, they stay in the dorms, uh, oh, they, nice. we have programs for them, uh, they take classes during the day, and then we have programs for them in the evenings. And it really gives them that taste of what college life is going to be like. And often they enroll after that program. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. And the dorms are right here in, in Wilmington They're as right well. here in Wilmington, right on North Market Street. Yes, so. I was going to say when I walk and try to get mm -hmm. something to eat, I always see like the students walking about. That's right. And that's one of the things the city loves about DCAD and DCAD loves about the city is we provide that youth factor on Market Street where our students are walking up and down, taking advantages of all the great new restaurants and right. places to have coffee and get ice cream and so forth. And, and that's, that works, and it's just a great place to be an art student. Uh, I saw the photo students out the other day taking um, some images for their capstone books okay. in the city and taking advantage of the architectural wonders in downtown Wilmington uh, by going out with their cameras and recording that. And, and you know, it really helps the community, and it certainly helps our students to be part of the fabric of that. And, and you just made me remember with the capstone books, the portfolios, the high schoolers who are taking advantage now of this dual program will be able to learn the importance of creating their portfolio and what that looks like, that what that might entail. That's right, and that's what another advantage DCAD has um, is that we really, you know, we certainly have a portfolio requirement coming into the school, but we help them get it better. We're really the oh, portfolio so experts. So by the time they get done with our program, they have a, tr a tremendous program. And some of our students actually don't transfer. Some actually get jobs with their two-year degrees. In fact, we have several students who are working in local Wilmington businesses who I've met, and um, they have their two-year degrees, and they were hired. That's wonderful. So, yeah. Receiving your education in Wilmington and also getting hired in Wilmington. That's what we want. That's, That's a double right. win right there. That's a double <laughs> win, absolutely. And you know, the Cap Callaway partnership is not the only partnership that DCAT has. There's also another one with NextFab. Yes, our partnership with NextFab, that happened while I was interviewing at the college and I was so excited about it. So NextFab was born in Philadelphia. And, and uh, just to explain kind of what that is, sure. NextFab is what's called a maker space, and that's just a fancy way of saying that they have a lot of high-tech equipment, laser cutters, 3D printers. At the facility here in Wilmington, they also have a full wood shop that's operated with um, some of the electronic equipment like lasers. Okay. It's fabulous, NextFab. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and so, hence uh, the name. Hence the name. <laughs> and, um, and it's just a tremendous opportunity for our students. So um, uh, Renee Garnick, who's our development director, was uh, instrumental in getting that partnership uh, underway. And uh, I have to give credit to all the great people at NextFab as well who were able to pull it together. And, um, and so the partnership started in earnest last January. And now the whole third floor of their building on Tattnall Street okay. is a DCAD classroom. Wonderful. And so we have classes there. The students will take an object, I'm just going to use an example, they might take a piece of paper and imagine that turned into a 3D ob object. And so they, they design it on the third floor and, and kind of develop it on paper. And then uh, through the process of prototyping, you know, kind of carefully build it in paper and then they imagine it downstairs in the labs into something that's 3D printed in plastic or um, you know, uh, made in the wood shop in wood. Okay. Um, so it's really 
a fabulous partnership. And, and we're just thrilled. The students yes. are getting skills that are really transferable. I was just going to say that. Mm -hmm. yes. So uh, with art, I could say top of the line technology for their top of the line designs. technology. We could not have replicated the kind of equipment at DCAD that they have at NextFab. So having that two block away partnership really enables our students access to that kind of high tech equipment that we, we just couldn't have put in our building. And NextFab benefits by having our students there and really getting ideas. So that NextFab is open to the community. Anybody can join it and okay. become a maker. Um, but with having our students there, there's sort of that symbiotic relationship with the community too, where they're getting ideas from the students and, t and the students are talking with other makers about what is possible for them. So it really gives them entrepreneurial ideas too when they see makers from the community making their own tables or making uh, furniture or whatever. Yeah. And uh, the students can see that with my degree in art and design, I can work for somebody, but I could also be an entrepreneur and go out on my own and make things and sell them. And which is great exposure. That's another component that you can show. Because as we all know, uh, being an artist or in this creative industry, sometimes the uh, salary doesn't really match the skill sets. And well, that's right. But you know, I'm here to dispel that <laughs> in, in <laughs> art good. and design. Uh, so that's sort of my mantra is, you know, the starving artist. Yes. Uh, has to go away because because they don't. Um, in fact, I met with some of our alumni in New York a couple of weeks ago, and I was so tickled to hear about the kinds of jobs they have. One of our photo students who graduated a few years ago is working in the Empire State Building for a photography oh, company, and she was uh, photographing Pharrell and you know things oh, like wow. that, and uh, just tremendous stories. Another one is an animator, full time for. Um, for a YouTube uh, organization and I just you know I'm just thrilled to hear these stories and the students stories really tell our successes and so on our website we have a brand new alumni profile area where, where people can see what you can do with a degree in art and design right. and I think it's really important that people understand that not only are those careers important for people that want to be professional artists and designers mm -hmm. but sometimes our students take those skills uh, learning to be a creative a person and they apply them to businesses or they apply them to engineering or they apply right. them to nursing and so it really gives students an opportunity to think broadly about what kind of career they want on top of their two-year art and design degree and the opportunities are there but but the best combination is having that foundation when the opportunity presents itself that's right that's it's what that DCAT is offering that's what DCAT is offering it's that those foundational skills and then they can really do anything from there and they get a degree along the way that's right yeah. which is most important <laughs> that's the most important well it does it gives them an, 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 a competitive edge yes it yeah. does as we know especially in the economic world that we live in now that's um, right. it's kind of almost mandatory to have some kind of degree rather it's two or four years absolutely absolutely so but you know I was really delighted when I got here to see how many of our students with their two-year degrees are doing some very meaningful very directly related work um, to the, what they studied here at DCAD. So, are there other ways that they're taking um, creative opportunities in the creative district here in Wilmington? Yes, yes. So students do do internships and they work with uh, some of our area partners and uh, community organizations in, oh, okay. in ways. Sometimes they volunteer. Sometimes they work, you know, in an internship for credit. Um, and those kinds of opportunities are certainly something that we want to foster, both for our business, uh, you know, business partnerships as well as for our students to get that experience. And it's all here, especially if you're a resident of Delaware. It's in your backyard, your home. You don't have to worry about traveling so far. You're getting your education on the college level, and then you're also getting that employment opportunity as an intern at a, at a local business. Well, that's the thing. And, I, you know, I, I had a mother who asked me, you know, why, why should my daughter study art and design in Wilmington? And I said, oh, are you kidding? Let me tell you why. And again, you know, just because we have so many great cultural organizations and, and uh, places to study here that are phenomenal. So uh, going up to the Hagley Museum, as our students have done, and doing plein air painting is, you know, something that we're availing to them. We had students that went to the Brandywine Museum in Chad's Ford um, to see an exhibition and to do some plein air work. That means painting outside in the real world. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's just tremendous. And these, you know, Wilmington is the place where 
some of our greatest artists and illustrators, you know, got their start. And so right. to be able to do that at the locations that are still here is really tremendous for our students. And, and the great thing too is that at, at DCAD you're getting that personal one-on-one -on -one attention because the classes aren't so as big as a huge university Absolutely. where you can kind of get lost as a freshman in college because there's so many of you trying to you know go for the same thing but here at DCAD it's not that fear is kind of taken away. It is, it is and you know I, I find at, a, at the larger you know, nothing against that it's a great place to start but it can be a little more intimidating especially as an artist and designer it's very personal to put your work on a wall and have it critiqued Right. And so that, that takes, it takes time to develop the, the fortitude, if you will, to be able to do that and then confidently learn to speak up and speak about your work. And that's one of the things that we practice at DCAD and really encourage the students uh, very much through our programs to be able to develop those skills. And, and that, you know, is another transferable skill that they're able to use, whether they stay in art and design or they go into business. You know, you lear have to learn to speak up in a meeting or be able to, you know, express your ideas confidently. That's so right. um, we really do help with that. And what are some of the other benefits that DCAT offers for the aspiring artist or designer that's considering coming to your college? Sure. Well, I, th I think the possibilities are endless, but one of the things that I, as I said, really like is the possibility that you can come and study art and design and then think about other careers on top of that. So um, a, lot of, a lot of students aren't really sure when they come out of high school if they want to stay in a professional art and design school. Most of our students do transfer to other art and design schools, but there's some of them who say, you know, this isn't a career for me. I want to take a right turn and, and study something else. And it might be something like engineering. So right. with those skills that they got with a partnership at NextFab, um, and, and they're able to, you know, think about, you know, other possible ways to go, they could study engineering and, um, you know, be able to have a whole new career where that creative foundation provided uh, the footstone for moving and, forward. And there's a, an open, there's a couple open houses coming up. There as is, well. yes. So for those who are so interested, glad you mentioned that yes, we have <laughs> uh, uh, one coming up December first, and then we have two slated for the spring. So be sure to check out our website, decad.edu, um, and and we have announcements about that. You can sign up for the open house, or we always take people who walk in as well. And so. for high schoolers, don't be ashamed to bring your parents. You know, they're the ones who no. ask all the questions. No, I, <laughs> you have the I take the parents, and then we let the cool kids, you know, talk to the students. But certainly, mm -hmm. I, I do most of the talking about uh, working, you know, accepting the fact that your student is an artist and that they don't have to struggle along the way. There are lots of job possibilities and, and career paths for students as they go through. Now, are there any new initiatives that the college is taking on? I know you're fresh into your position, August 1st. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And I was also uh, made aware that there are also other employees who are new to DCAD. We do. We have a great. <laughs> I, I am so lucky to have a, a lot of the people that are in the t uh, top positions. There are new. Um, our dean, Katie Rowe, she's our academic dean, and she's been there a year, and she's been tremendous in terms of getting, for example, the Cab Calloway dual enrollment program going, and other initiatives like the Moore College of Art and Design dual enrollment program. So. I'm really thrilled to have Katie on board. We have a fairly new CFO in Eric Saul. Um, Renee Garnick has been there a few years, but she's, I think, five or six years. Okay. Um, but we have a, a tremendous team, and I'm just absolutely thrilled to have the team that I have at DCAD. Uh, they're energetic and just absolutely devoted to uh, creating the best artists yes. and designers possible. Yes, your director of communications, Susan, was so great to work with. Susan Colby She's on top is, of everything. I was like, oh, I love it when we have <laughs> individuals like this who are really on top of everything. Yes, she is great, and she's been super helpful. And yeah, I, I couldn't ask for a better team. Yes, and the team is what makes everything come out so successful as well. Absolutely, it's it a group effort. It doesn't take one person. Every day. <laughs> and let me not forget to mention our faculty, our great faculty. and. Um, you know, they are just completely devoted to DCAD and to our students, and that's what makes a difference when you're looking at a college.
And anything else you would like for us to know before we leave? Anything you would like to share in regards to DCAD, what to look forward to? We do have some new initiatives. You know, nothing. Uh, some are super fresh, so I can't name names, but we're okay. working on other dual enrollment programs with some of the area high schools, both in the suburbs and in the city. Oh, wonderful. So it's going to progress. We're hoping that's going to progress, and we're very excited about that. Again, to give students a head start right at the beginning. And then on the, uh, on the other end, as our students graduate, working on more dual enrollment programs with some of the um, area in the area and out of the area uh, professional schools of art and design I think will be a sweet spot for us in the future. Oh most definitely. Yeah. Whenever you can go to high school and master not only getting your high school diploma but also working towards your college degree, right. that's a win-win right there. We think so. <laughs> so. so congratulations on Thank all of the you. success that you've already had at DCAD and for that collaboration making sure the high schoolers here in Wilmington and throughout Delaware receive that opportunity. Well thanks, we appreciate that. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. And thank Thank you for joining us okay. today. Take care. Thank you. And on behalf of all of us here at WITN22, I'm Yesenia Tavares. Thank you so much for watching.